Welcome everyone to the San Francisco Open presented by the Disc Golf Pro Tour and the PDGA with Absolute Extracts as the primary sponsor and Innova Champion Disc Golf supporting the coverage as well. We're here on the back nine of the feature card of round one with Paige Pierce, Katrina Allen, Sarah Hoke and myself, and Jessica Weiss. All right, starting fresh on hole number 10. Uh, this is Zoe Andike, by the way. Happy to join you guys here. Hole 10 is a par five, 965 feet. Um, not a short hole. It's actually the second longest hole and the other par five. So we've got OB lining the right side and the left side of the fairways. It goes pretty far deep of the green. Nothing you can really be thinking about on your tee shot, just landing in the center or the side of the fairway to give yourself a really nice approach for your second and third drives. Cat here with her X3, trying to get distance but still land central to the fairway, pulls it a little right, gets a little tree kick and lands in the fairway on the right side. We saw a couple players actually uh, on my card, I, I actually went out of bounds if you go out of bounds off this drive, you know, it's really going to make a par five so much tougher. Tee shot and, um, you know, kind of center cut control is key. <laughs> yeah, I actually choose a more controlled distance drive here rather than trying to get full distance. The fairway opens up a bit on the second shot for a more, uh, less conservative distance shot. Paige is crushing it. I am loving Paige's Seriously shot Seriously crusher, crusher sauce. Center cut. Um, you know, there actually are a couple, three little tiny hazards right of where her disc is, but she's not even worried about it. She's in the middle of the fairway. Jess with her Vulcan. Big distance shot. Kind of burns out a little bit, um, but she's pretty far up there, about 350 up the fairway. Got a little bit of a tailwind, so I'm uh, lining up my flippier trace. Trying to get just a bit more distance to make that third shot into the green a bit easier. And uh, it was not quite the angle I should have thrown it at. But inbounds. Little nose up, There's but still inbounds, hope. yes. <laughs> and Katrina lining up for her second shot. This is her D2. Distance, but a little bit extra flip. She gets all the way to the tree line. Well executed and great place to be. Leaving her only about 150, 200 feet to get to the pin for birdie. Jess going backhand again with her pharaoh. That wind, it just wow. drops out of the sky in that tailwind. A lot of action Whether in the air. An, I don't know, there's an air pocket up there or something, but that she doesn't was... quite get the distance she wants, but she still has a look to get up and down for birdie. And as I mentioned, this hole is 965 feet, and Paige looks like she's definitely easily cut it in half, maybe more than. And she's got, the, this is a little bit of a downhill to the basket now so she's throwing it i think it skips past the basket it sure does here. i from our position um i was watching this and i thought she was almost going to throw it in for an albatross oh, but now man. she has a deep um eagle look <laughs> an eagle look from deep is that like i guess that's, that's a, a thing. thing and that is incredible that's an incredible thing that is an incredible <laughs> thing here i am throwing a photon trying to hit that low gap through the left side, and I threw it as best I could. And I leave myself just at the edge of the circle. Excellent. You know, that's a really good shot. You threw it the best you could. That is a fast, skippy green. Just want to give yourself a putt. Slightly sloped left to right, so the sidearm gets a little bit more skip and roll. Just a couple hundred feet for her approach, leaving herself a very makeable 15-footer. Cat, a little patent pending with her putter. Nice and easy. Leaving herself, although it is a headwind putt, it is inside the circle. 
page for her eagle putt. Again, deep eagle putt. <laughs> I love this. It's mind blowing. Not quite the look she was looking for. Gave it all the attempt, but uh, comes up a little left. So I walked this putt off twice. And even though it looked like it was outside the circle from the way the flags are set up, every time I was looking at just inside the circle, left to right, headwind, uphill, I really wanted to jump this. But I said, okay, no, I'm not going to jump it. And it was that foot short that I needed. <laughs> that was what you wanted there. That little extra well, bump of power. Uh, yeah, you know. And Cat for her birdie putt. It's looking at a headwind. She's taking her time thinking she about cutting She did a little through. extra little arm thing. I don't think she I always does that. I don't see that very often. And gets a really terrible roll. Rude roll away. Ah, I like it that. Rude. She's now How just dare at the edge. that basket. <laughs> and now her putt is longer. And she kind of sails it over, probably overcorrecting, as we all do. The headwind is not helping. You Tough can see that green. flag is just ripping. And Jess for her birdie putt. And you can see <clears throat> she tried to keep the nose down to cut through the wind, and it was just a little too nose down, tapping in. It's tough to see somebody miss, 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 and then go up to putt and think that, you know, things are normal. Absolutely. It's finding finding that confidence is, uh, you know, next to impossible, but it's what a player strives to do. Just find your rhythm and routine and go back to what you know. Page for birdie. What a birdie. It's nice when you're putting for eagle and then your <laughs> comebacker is your birdie putt. Pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> and tapping out. I'll take that any day. A little bit of score separation on that hole. Few birdie, a few birdies, though. We had, um, well, Paige on our card, and then Kona, Rebecca, and Candice Romaine, a newer face on the Pro Tour, uh, also got cool. that one. All right, moving on to hole 11. It's a par 3, 302 feet. There is a little bit of trouble, you know, next to the green. We've got the Hazards and the OB Golf Green. Um, it's off to the right, so... So, you know, it's a favorable left of your sidearm off of the tee or turnover shot. It's definitely uphill as well. I and would then, say it's playing more like 330. Yep. At least. Like that. You got that lower ceiling on the right side too, so players have to get it wide enough. Paige with a decent shot doesn't quite get it up there, but she'll just be just outside the circle. Here I am throwing a chop hyzer with my flippy trace, trying to play that tailwind to push it right. And it does, that's actually, it, it works out good. I'm outside the circle, but that's probably the best shot I've thrown on this hole. That was a really good shot. And then Jess also with her patent hyzer flip with a Vulcan, gets it up there just a little bit further. Outside of the circle, giving her giving her a chance for a birdie. And Kat, she's throwing an M4 here, trying to get that full turn with a flippy mid. Beautiful shot. We're all right up there just outside the circle with um, relatively makeable putts with a tailwind. So, you know, tailwind and then a slightly sloping backdrop kind of gives you uh, the green light. Definitely so. It's a very favorable putt to have or be able to make here. The ladies are all hunting the birdie. In the air. And <laughs> gonna be okay Kay's with the laughing putt. laughing at herself again. <laughs> yep. Good lighthearted spirit. Got to a 
love her attitude. Cat with a really nice run. And Sarah is here with her birdie attempt, giving it all the chance in the world, just a little bit right and deep. Tap in though. And Jessica, last hope for the birdie here on the card, cashes it in. Excellent. She she still. Oh no, she oh, missed she it. Oh, she did it. not cash it. Looked like it at first. I'm sorry about that. Cleaning it up. Little downhiller. Pars are okay, you know. Uh, no, no loss, no gain there. All three of the ladies, or all four of the ladies, carding the three. In fact, nobody got this birdie today, and nearly everyone, 95% of the field, actually got the par. So uh, maybe this one is in good score separation. Maybe somebody will get it in the next two rounds. Yeah, I'm thinking so. Which would be so. the more favorable outcome. So this was our first, our very first star par on hole 11. Mm-hmm. Wow, to go that long in the round, you know, until you got the star par. Interesting. That's a good course. Hole 12, it's a par 3, 321 feet. Hole 12. I, man, I actually have heard a lot of the different um, it's a side players arm. in the tournament. Yeah, it's, it's definitely a leftier <laughs> sidearm. It's a really tough backhand. And, you know, even sidearm players have found it to be a little bit tricky to get in there. The tree gaps are tough to make it through. There's a fall line. You absolutely have to put enough angle on your disc, but not too much to cut in and into the hill and cut roll out. If you hyzer out, you're going really far away, potentially 100 plus feet out into the other fairway. And there's a massive headwind happening right now. I'm throwing my very most overstable distance driver, the Neutron Photon um, f flat. Uh, I guess that was a little hyzer. I wanted it to be flat. In fact, I was actually talking to Paige about this one and... Uh, post hole and she thinks she might take that right side tomorrow the right side like hyzer around the tree that right side yes we were checking out the gap i was gonna say i haven't so, looked at the foliage yeah up above. i mean I it looks a little look. sketchy with the uh the two meter rule but she said that with the headwind that we're typically gonna have that that might be the choice and jessica with her massive sidearm getting in there that's inside the circle cat with a turnover again I, I really appreciate Sarah that you're mentioning how the wind felt it was playing the same for every card oh and cats throwing the roller but the headwind and roller shot I've got to give her props trust with that disc you know it's it's downhill as well yeah yeah uh, d1 I I can't imagine trying to throw a roller in this kind of wind but she's got it dialed that was yeah that was really just prolific. barely missed it onto that right side uh, tree there the eucalyptus tree on her right I love the trees out here a bunch of cypress and eucalyptus it's just really beautiful foliage it smells really good everywhere it's a really nice environment to play disc golf The cat with her little pretty floaty run. And here I am trying to get the birdie from 45 feet or so. A little downhill on the green too. Use the boost and fully confident though running it. Yeah, that's a lot of these. I've had a lot of outside the circle putts today. Hoping to get those a little closer tomorrow. And Jess with the only birdie look on the card and cash is in cha-ching with the only birdie in the entire field of the day congrats jess and yeah that's huge heck of a shot it was a tough tough hole jessica definitely read the wind trusted her disc and executed
A little tap in for Katrina Allen there. And the ladies are going to be moving on to hole 13. So just with a beautiful birdie there to kind of catch one back, Kat and Paige are still battling out at minus two. And I'm hanging in there at a couple over, trying to get under par by the end. All right, and moving on to 13, it's a par three, 327 feet. We're starting up on kind of a side hill slope, throwing downhill. As you can see, there's two, you know, kind of huge guardian trees around the basket green, but there is a, a pretty good fall line here, so watch out for a skip or play the skip. <laughs> Just with honors going with the backhand, it flips up just a little more than she wants. Gets some skip. Ends up safe with a long uphill look at the basket. Paige, I believe, is this her verdict? Her lucidex? Overstable mid? This is definitely her overstable mid, yes, a verdict. The wind is ripping. Taking her time, lining it up. She wanted that to be wider, lower, leaving her a long putt for birdie. Here I'm lining up my most stable photon, the pro the neutron photon. And you've got to keep it low and still play that little, you know, stable finish. Yeah, I was happy with that one. It was a really good shot. Just a 20, 20, 25 footer. And Kat throwing her D1. That looks like a first run D1. Super old school. Wow, yeah. Like 2013. Flips up just a little bit. And just, she just threw it a little bit too low. Caught the grass and didn't get the skip. Yeah, if you're too high up on that grass, it's a little more Velcro than, than For uh, sure. Skippy. Paige, happy with her bid, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And I don't know if not. Do you think I that was sarcastic? You know, actually, I think she, she was fitty fitty there, knowing <laughs> that it wasn't terrible. <laughs> Just a little floaty layup with her Sonic. Good shot. Had to keep it underneath that branch. No Cat need for going trouble. to a knee. That kind of tells you what the wind's doing. Keep it low. The wind, uh, man, the flag is not moving right now. But the wind and is definitely I was there. pretty sure there was wind. <laughs> and, uh, oh, just slightly right left me a little uh, 15 footer or so in a tailwind from a par. Whew. Gave it everything. Oh, that would hurt a little bit. Paige to clean up her par. You know, it doesn't feel as bad missing that putt um, right now. Like, watching me miss that putt doesn't hurt as bad as when I actually missed it. That sounds about right. <laughs> In the moment. And that's, that's a, the biggest thing for the players out here is... You know, controlling the inside of the head voices after missing a birdie, missing a par. Um, and you know how the story continues with the uh, golf terms, but we're hoping players can keep it closer to par. <laughs> so three pars and a bogey there. Cat and Paige still knotted up under par. Moving on to basically birdie row from here on out. All the holes are really gettable. Yeah, and let's talk about them. So hole number 14, 263 feet. It's par three. Like Sarah said, so gettable, but you've got to put together a drive. It's it's not an easy birdie by any means. Uphill, you're, you have trees lining the left and right, creating a center hallway, a sidearm gap, and a drastic backhand gap. 
Um, the drastic gaps are usually playing for a, an easy stress-free par. Straight up the middle is definitely the quickest way to get there. And this is, there's a lot of gravity involved here. That, that slope is a lot steeper. As you can see, Jessica's disc rolling away into the green, out of the green, missing that bunker. Ends up actually in one of the sand bunkers on the other side of the green. OB. So a lot of slope there, like I was saying. Got to be able to stick a shot. And that used to be OB immediately um, left side last year. And now they've made that. They've opened that up to just the green and the bunkers. Which I think is a really positive change. Enough trouble down there exists. Especially with trees. Trees and OB, you need to mitigate a, one of the two of those. Textbook shot by Paige right up the hallway. Cat with that D1 again. She's feeling good about that, that disc. And taking the right side. Does. Hides hits early. It hits early, unfortunately. Slipped, uh, as, you, as you heard her say, she slipped. I'm always thinking Kat needs to wear um, shoes with more traction on turf tees. Yeah, she's got the running shoes yeah, going on the for years of... now. That's her comfort zone, I, th I guess. Here like... I am lining up a Crave, which I really love this disc. It's so straight, but I leave it a little hyzer. I think I'm a little shook after that miss putt. Uh, did you get inside uh, circle two there, though? No, no. Just out there. Weren't, weren't. <laughs> and Jessica is a long pretty uphill. far downhill. Long uphill approach. In the hazard, the sand trap. Getting herself just inside of the circle there, as you can see. Cat also with a pretty long approach through a, you know, not a huge gap. I mean, we're talking 15 feet wide. She's got to throw it, you know, 60%. Almost hits the right side, but nestles it up there, giving herself a 15-footer. And as you can see, super tough footing, and these trees are huge. Um, you know, you've, to be able to throw around them is pretty tough. I'm yeah. navigating from about 70, throwing my entropy... Heiser's into the basket for a tap in. Jess to save her par, or save her bogey. Pardon me, not a save. To clean up a bogey with a huge putt. Huge. Wow. Putt. Yeah, I That's feel like she's walking away feeling shot. pretty good about getting that for. And Cat for par. Leaves it just a little short. You always hate to get a bogey on something less than three hundred feet. <laughs> right? Well, uh, you can't think about it that way, you know. Fair I, enough. I I just say uh, pars are gold and, and anything in front of that is better. So Paige <laughs> with the birdie, Cat with the bogey. We now have a two-stroke separation between our leaders. Yeah, such a short hole and, and such a, like I said, not an easy hole. That's a good hole, Quite though. Quite a bit can you know, happen. Anybody yeah, can get can to see. it. And uh, some of the two of the best distance throwers in the world, two-stroke differences. Great, Great hole. Yes. <laughs> Paige moving to the top of the box as we move on to hole 15. We've got a par three, 385 feet. Now you're you're teeing off from up above. Uh, it's actually a, a regular golf green or golf teeing area. So you're slightly elevated. You've got sand traps and golf greens OB deep and left, which is kind of where a hyzer would, would be, you know, that's the landing zone, the trouble. Some players are throwing a crazy hyzer through the trees a lot of players you'll see like Paige throwing a turnover with a slower disc so that it'll land and stay. That's probably what, a mid or a putter? I believe that one's a putter. That could have been her marshal. I'm throwing a distance driver. Yeah. <laughs> I'm throw, I'm throwing it's a very here. overstable, but it's a distance driver. <laughs> Um, and the baskets, you know, it's on, it's got a hill on the back side. It's got a slight hill on the front side, front left side. And it's a Goliath basket, or a very elevated one. One of the taller ones here, but doesn't have the metal base. This feels extra Goliath with that stump. Definitely. Jess also opting for the sidearm. I think it is uh, favorable for a sidearm. It's a especially good play. with that tailwind. 
Definitely a good play. She's throwing her destroyer there. And cat with an M2. Oh, that one's the M2. <laughs> Everything's kind of burning out a little bit early, leaving outside the circle or edge of the circle, tailwind putts to the Goliath, extra Goliath basket. Paige lays it up, a rare. That's a, that's a rare sight, rare but her. that is literally one of the best golf plays. Um, Jess lays it up. You know, you can Is tell cat up there's too? wind. I don't know. Any any takers? It's oh, a layup. Well, yeah, it's a layup. <laughs> but, you know, no need for trouble. Uh, if you're trying to bid a two, it can quickly turn into a well, four, five, or this six. this is what I'm trying to do. I wasn't going to run it until I was 15 feet away, and then there was that. 15 feet away, though, is a comfort zone. I, I think that's Not there. a legitimate <laughs> run. <laughs> comfort zone into a headwind. Le it's a <sighs> legitimate run. It didn't feel very comforting to stand back there into that headwind. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. I think being 15 feet away from a lot of baskets, um, you know. I ca if I laid that up, I would, I don't know what I would do. It would, would be a sad existence to lay up a 15 footer. <laughs> It wasn't the GBO wind, but it was ripping. <laughs> so everybody's tapping in. Tappity tap tap. That is the star par. Oh, yeah, star par. Our, nice. our second star par of the round. But we did have a birdie on this hole. Our uh, the newcomer Candace Romaine got the birdie. Yeah, Big Candace, shout out a couple to her. of those today. I haven't got to play with her yet, but I really hope that we get to play together at some point. I'm excited to see more women playing, uh, especially these big events. Moving on to hole 16. It's a par 3, 285 feet. Yep, hole 16. I think it's, you know, I don't know if it's becoming a trending theme or not, but it is an island hole. If you do not come to rest inside of the marked island, you're throwing from the drop zone. Putting from the drop zone, should I say. Is it a putt? It's a putt. Uh, it's about like 60 45. Feet? Oh, I thought it was oh, 45, oh, 50. Goodness. Okay. I'm going to have to look at it a little closer 47 tomorrow. and a half. We're pacing it tomorrow. <laughs> Paige with a putter. Downhill. Throws it a little bit low. We thought it was going to get over, but it hits the keen wall. You can see her <laughs> thanking her sponsor. She's Always like, got my back, except for just like that one inch just now. <laughs> Here I am throwing a resistor, one of my favorite little fairways that has very little fade, which is why I love it. I threw it a little high. I kind of went opposite page, and but I hit the wall. But Thank the keen you. wall saved it, you. Thank you, keen. The, the wall taketh and the wall giveth. I believe so. As you can see, Jess is lining up the wide hyzer route. That's the route I threw today only because of the wind. Last minute change, I know for me, I like She's attacking it straight. Sneaks in the wall, gives herself a great look with the tailwind. That is the ideal situation. Ideal. Closest to the pin at this point. Cat also taking the hyzer. Puts it out there pretty wide. And just looks like she goes deep of the Catches wall. Catches the wall, though. It did. Catches oh, the wall. Excellent. Yeah. And here's the drop zone putt for Paige. Tailwind, which is nice. Well, I guess that's... She had to throw that, like, way above the flag to get it to stay in. Yeah. <laughs> uh, here's, here I am after, you know, a few, like, putting woes this, this round. I'm not feeling confident. All right. But, uh, take them when you're getting them. <laughs> go to my process, and there you go. That's right. Cat also lining up the birdie. Adjusting the hair. It's an important part of the routine. It is actually. Uh, the wind just picked up a huge gust, and Cat stays well inside of her 30 seconds, but gives herself just that extra couple of pumps, hair adjustments, whatever it takes. Confident pump. Cashes the birdie. Now, with the pressure on, she's the closest. There's always some time. Oh, nice. Heiser putt goes in. She goes with the Heiser this time. Mm -hmm. 
She also has an Anheuser she likes to use occasionally. Maybe more so Anheuser. Would you call her more Annie than Anheuser? Yes, most definitely. Yeah. Throwing up a lot more Anheuser putts. Paige tapping in. She'll card the bogey. And we will be moving on to hole 17. A lot of players got the, the birdie on 16 with 32% of the field getting a birdie. Only That's 23% great. with the par, 45% with the bogey. Really, really um, just natural spread there. Stroke separator, which is cool, you know, with two holes to go. Kind of adds to the drama, adds to the players who are confidence or being confidence round. Hole 17, par 4, 465 feet. It's all uphill and ends kind of on a side hill slope. And from the ladies' tee, um, you know, you've got a tree right in front of the tee box. You've got to pick right away if you are throwing from to the left or to the right of it. If you're a lefty or a sidearm, you're throwing to the right. <laughs> I'm throwing that trace, little turn, looking for a little more turn, but, you know, it's I'm still in position to get the birdie. And as you can see, the wind is whipping, a little more ground action, kind of suspending the discs, rolling around a little. Just opting for her distance backhand. And that's the side I like to take as well. Burns for, out a little early. For a backhand thrower, you know that we're trying to really break off more distance. Looks like Kat's even lining up the roller. Um, there is always the option if we throw to the right, just making a simple easy dumpy hyzer shot but making the whole play longer for us cat with the first run roller d1 turns a little more than she wants ends up in the grass she's not sure if it's inbounds but she is page also from the left side turnover Again, doesn't quite get the height the wind pushes it down we all have approaches from a couple hundred feet Lining up a shock, trying to throw a wide spike hyzer and throw a really narrow spike hyzer <laughs> and end up just outside the circle. Throwing up hills and down hills always messes with a player's angle control. In addition to the footing, which is also usually on a side hill of sorts. Tricky. Paige trying to get a hyzer out of that. But it stays straight and leaves her deep and high on the basket. Jess also looking to put it near the pin, but ends up right and early with that. That headwind is really just wrecking havoc. Wow. Cat also throwing to try to get a hyzer back in but ends up right with a big putt to try to get that birdie that headwind is just suspending the discs for one of the most bur is actually the easiest hole on the course for the women it is surprising that we've all left ourselves these long putts for birdie and i do not make mine i didn't make a single circle two putt today Page, I believe Paige's and circle City. two stats. As long as your disc uh, was correct, I think she was in the 36 percentile, 39 wow, percent at circle huge. two. That's huge. Jess also with a big putt here for to get the birdie. Straight headwind. Lays it up. Cat also with a straight headwind, 25 footer downhill. Downhill death putt. To get yeah. the birdie, the most birdieable hole on the course. Cha ching. Cashing in. Those are some really amazing putts for the conditions that we're experiencing. Jess and I will tap out our bogey or our pars. It feels like a bogey. Excuse me. <laughs> it does. It feels like a bogey. But And Kat and Paige, despite an errant second shot, will cash in those birdies. So we've got our leaders tied at three down going into the last hole. 
Holcomb's at two over, Weiss four over, and hole 18. It is a really cool finishing hole. It's definitely tough. It's a par four, 567 feet. A lot of slope, so you've got bunkers to worry about on the left, OB lining the fairway left. And right. And right side as well. I didn't realize that when I threw it, we'll see. Oh, okay. Foreshadowing. Some, some things happen here. And all those bunkers and greens up by the, up by the basket. Whew. Really have to break this hole into two pieces, no matter which field you're playing in and who the player. You've got to have a landing zone and trust and pick your spots, actually. Whether you are attacking the green, you know. So Kat threw her D2 there, didn't turn it as much as she wanted, and ended up in that OB area on the left side. Everything kind of filters to that bowl. Very so much so. So you almost have to play a bit of defense against that OB area. Page with a smash. Nice angle. Right in the middle, maybe a little low, but she's happy with that. Or I'm happy watching that. I don't yeah. know. I don't know if she's actually happy. She with may that. not if I be, was her, I'd be happy. She with may that. not be completely fulfilled in her expectations, but it's a good place to be. <laughs> Here I am throwing a neutron photon, and I was not happy with that. But I ended up inbounds. Inbounds. Yep. Jess throwing a destroyer. Flips a little bit. Gets straight and a really the, beautiful shot right yes. in the middle. Such a big distance sidearm. I, I was about, it. I was saved, but not by much. And here, now I'm kind of pinched off by those trees on the right without quite the uh, ability to get all the way to the basket. So I have to play a safe shot out to the right with an even more stable photon, leaving myself a long approach for my par. Cat taking her relief from the OB and then lining up her second shot all the way across with her D2 landing safe just barely. Skipping into a great place for her, her birdie attempt there. Just lining, lining up another sidearm with her destroyer. The wind is ripping. <laughs> aggressively with an extra R roll which <laughs> unfortunately that. turns over her disc out of bounds <laughs> she's here. yeah that you was can definitely hear that she's disappointed it was like a flipped. 160 destroyer so maybe she needs a club up to like a 170 destroyer for a <laughs> win like this Paige a little low with her mid, her Tina mid. Uh huh. Do you know what disc that is? Uh, let's see. Tina's face is on. I want to say a suspect. Sounds right. Sounds about right. But uh, parked either way. Paige is stoked, even though it's low. She gave it plenty of power. And she is parked for her birdie attempt. Here I'm throwing an entropy MVP's newest overstable putter. It's pretty sweet. The wind keeps it a little straighter than I want, but uh, you know it's a very makeable putt. Jess trying to recover from her out of bounds with her little Sonic. Throws it really well. Easy tap in. And Kat for her par save after going OB. Wow, that was the par save. That's Sneaks correct. Sneaks it and in. What Almost no change. That was huge. That was like 40, 35, 40 feet. That was incredible. That was a great par save. And page for birdie. Oh. Head banded. Ow. Here I am saving, trying to save my par. And you do very Yay. well. Yay. I was sweating that one. Don't tell anybody. Oh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows. <laughs> Paid for her par. <laughs> Just to tap in her bogey to conclude our round with 
Paige and Kat shooting a minus three on the day. Mm-hmm. Great tied score. for it ends up being in tied for second place with Paige Bjorkus, the current world champion, coming in with a minus four. We have a lot of action left for this week. Thanks for tuning in to the back nine, and we'll see you tomorrow for round two to the San Francisco Open. Thanks, Zoe. And thank you, Sarah Hokum. The commentary has been fun. The coverage has been great. We want to thank MVP, End of a Champion, PDGA, the San Francisco Open, Absolute Extracts, and, and the Disc Golf Pro Tour. For watching. And the Disc Golf Pro yeah. Tour. <laughs>